So now when you, we will start from where we skipped. Yes. Where we left. Okay. Select letter dimension now and create the new document. <clears throat> now you can see the next tool is the pen tool. Is the pen tool perfect? Okay. So you can press simple P for example, you are using another tool. Mm -hmm. Just click P, mm -hmm. see the pen tool is selected. Okay, same on Mac and same on Windows. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now when you are doing when you are creating something uh, like logos, shapes, so mm -hmm. you should select the fill color, mm -hmm. no color, okay. And border outline color, you can select mm -hmm. black and with one, one PT stroke two. weight, mm -hmm. okay. In pen tool, you can see, just a minute, select it. So when you select pen tool, okay, this is called when you click, this is called anchor point, okay. Now you can see how you will know that the line is straight line. So you can simply press and hold shift. You can see it straight line, okay. Yes, sir. Now the second thing, the first, sorry, third thing, first thing we check that this is the anchor point, this one anchor point and this one is anchor point. And second thing we check that how to create a straight, straight line, line. By pressing shift. Very good. Press and hold. Shift. Press and mm. hold. Shift. Mm. And then if you want to make a bend or curve mm. in your shape, so how you can make, okay. This is showing that this is the center point of the line, yes. okay. So smart guides, I explained in first lecture that it should be enable all this. Okay? Oh, yes. It will be very helpful for you to smart design guys. professional logos and professional shapes. Okay. So for example, if I click here anywhere, now we are going to check that how to create a bend, how to make a bend in your shape. Okay? So you can press and hold left click of the mouse and then move it. Okay, either like this or like this. Okay, you can see there is a band. Okay. Now you can see the curve is continuously going, you know, according to the previous anchor point. Exactly. Previous anchor point and previous curve. Mm. So for instance, if I want a straight line here or if I want to make or create a new band according to my requirements, mm. so what I should now you can press or you can click on the last anchor point this is the anchor point yes, this line is to control the movement mm. of the bend mm. so what we can do we can click here mm. okay now you can see that if i want a straight line i can create a straight line or if i want to make a bend or curve i can okay so for example if i make a bend like this you can see so this is another bend Okay, so just remember this, keep it that whenever you will make a bend, mm. you will stop the anchor point. point. Okay, now we can create another mm. like, this, like this. Okay, yes, then click here, then for example, here. See. Okay. Then click here and just match with the first anchor point from where we started so the shape has been done mm -hmm. now you can select 
selection tool because here now fill and other things are not showing mm. you can select this now select this now you can see there is mm. or there are options so you can change like you can fill with color okay yes. or you can fill with Design. graphic style or you can fill with any okay. gradient okay so right now i will fill it with any like this one okay now you can move sorry you can remove this uh, border okay now you can see we have a design proper shape design like this okay now how to create you know that how to create a duplicate so you can press and hold alt and just drag it like this so we have this now if you want to make transfer so you can right click and here you can see transform reflect and you can make it reflect just by click on preview and this is 90 degree vertical you can see so press ok now you can see it's like this now if you select both of them like this press and hold alt and make another duplicate sometimes you can see like your hand is going here your hand is going there okay so you can just press shift press and hold shift along with alt so it will be like straight okay. now right click transform and you can make it reflect you can click on preview and you can select horizontal this time okay and see now we have a proper shape here you can see perfect okay. how to add how to add another artboard okay this i will explain you you can see now we have how many artboards one, one. very good one artboard this tool is called artboard tool okay. okay so if you click here now you can see here new artboard see okay so if you click here mm -hmm. then you can make a new artboard just according to the dimension of previous artboard okay okay so if you click here you can see this is here so you have to click here then yep here and then click new and then you, oh. if you want to delete this artboard so now you can see this artboard is selected so just click here delete artboard see the artboard is deleted again you can click here and artboard new artboard and you can make another artboard here okay yes. now what i will do i will make another sh duplicate here okay okay so if you zoom the shape now you can see something here like it's not smooth from here see okay so if the shape you want to make smooth and if you want to make more curves if you want to add more anchor points if you want to delete anchor points or if you want to play or edit with previous anchor points so how you can do all these things mm -hmm. perfect perfect <laughs> So you can select this tool that is called smooth tool. Mm. It's here, okay. So smooth, but the shape should be active like this is selected. Now we can see anchor points. Sometimes people are trying to make shapes, you know, make smooth. But without selecting the anchor points. Exactly. Mm. So without selection, impossible. Ah. So smooth tool. Now you can see I will make it more zoom. Okay, like this is here we can also use this tool that is called zoom to see so it's more zoom okay. Okay. now if i select smooth tool you can see if i use it here you can see it's making smooth so. Okay. see and when you feel it is smooth you can see perfect now perfect. see okay little bit from here also the smooth see okay so now you can see the shape is smoothly moving from each and every side okay so for example if you want to add anchor points so what you can do exactly with anchor points like this is a straight line you can see 
Okay, so if you click here, you can see another tool that is called Add, Add Anchor Point Tool. So when you click like this, so these sub tools are relevant to the parent tool, the mm -hmm. first tool. Okay. So if I click Add Anchor Point Tool, now you can see we can add anywhere anchor point. Okay. Like you can see this is path, path, path. Okay. And here you can see intersect. Huh. Okay. So I will add for example on intersect. Okay. Now we can see another anchor point here. So if you want to play with this, just select direct selection tool and see select this. Now you can move it like this. Okay. Or you can select from here also. See. Okay. So the shape is changing. Okay. From anchor point to if you select add anchor point, add anchor point, it's already there. Sorry. When you click here, see now it's showing, please use the add anchor point tool on a segment of a path. Okay. So it's already there. We will use this one. Nice. Okay. Delete anchor point. For example, this we have added the anchor point here. And when I choose this one and let me change the shape. Now I don't want this one. So we can click and select delete anchor point tool. What will happen? See, it will mm -hmm. go back to previous shapes. Oh, okay. okay. So mm -hmm. now you know about the pen tool, yes. add anchor point tool mm -hmm. and smooth tool, how you will use smooth tool. Yes. Okay. Now something I will explain you about paint brush tool. Paint brush. Okay. okay. So what we will do, we will add another artboard from here and this one is another artboard okay. we will select this control zero fit in window now when you select paint brush tool okay so it's no color and border should be black like okay so you can see here it's a brush you can see so when you use this one here you can see the line is not smooth mm -hmm. but when I leave see now it's smooth you can see ah. okay Let's see Let's see hmm. it's smooth okay each and everything now if you click on window mm -hmm. and you can see her brushes okay, okay. So if you click on brushes, <clears throat> we can see here like this brush. This is 15 pt round. Mm. Okay. So if you use this one now, you can see brushes mm. like this. Okay. And if you select this now, if you use, you can see like this. Okay. Mm. If you select this scene. Okay. If you select this one. Okay. And use this scene. Okay. Now the thing is where and how we can use these. These is brush brushes, different brushes. Brushes are both important. Mm. If you select this for example, okay, mm. any shape, no fill mm. border and no fill. Okay. And create like this. Okay. You can see now we have a shape, rectangle shape without fill and without border. border okay so if you select this just click here see it will apply to the border see wow okay now if you click here first see it's like this mm -hmm. okay so in adobe illustrator professional certificates we can also design okay in mm -hmm. certificates you can see there are borders, borders. Okay? Uh -huh. so if you click on the options of brushes here see in this panel brushes panel is activated mm. if you click here you can see open brush library okay and here you can see arrows in arrows we have arrow special arrow standard pattern arrows in artistic we have artistic calligraphy ink paint brush scroll pen watercolor mm -hmm. borders we have lot of and lots of other mm. 
so if you click for example borders and select border frames or decorative decorative if you select see another panel will activate okay? wow. and if you click here now you can see it's like this if you click you can see it's like this so you can <laughs> check them see okay I will close this one then I click here and open brush library borders borders dashed for example now you can see these dashed okay, right, so. see and if you click again here borders decorative mm. with it frames the frames are there see so that will go down and this will come up. exactly and if you click here then again borders so borders lines now you can see lines see see how beautiful it's looking see if you select this window hmm. window and this is called align hmm. so in align we have if we click here you can see show options so in show options you can select align to artboard now okay so when I click see it will center and it will also center now it's horizontal and vertical in the center of the artboard okay so now you can see there are different then you can click here brush library borders borders geometric also you can see you have to select it see Then if you click here, brush library, borders, borders novelty, borders prim, primitive, thousands of, see? Thousands of design. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so we can lock this one now. Go to object and lock selection. Okay, because we will not work now on this layer. Okay, when you are not working on any layer, just lock that layer. Now I will select again paint brush tool. Okay, in brushes now you can see open brush library like arrows. So you can see arrows special. So if you click arrow special, you can see there are lots of <laughs> arrows okay mm. now how you can drag them how you can see you can see this is paint brush tool the first thing simply you can drag and drop in your artboard okay mm. then you can select this one and you can if you want to change it like this if you want to rotate it okay mm. we can use in our brochures flyers this mm. arrow okay mm. or the second thing like you can select this brush arrow and now see mm -hmm. uh, we can drag and drop and also we can also draw we can also draw okay so if you click here now see select this one so this and now you can see press and hold shift mm -hmm. see it's straight now mm -hmm. these are arrows and if you click again sorry we have done this one so you can lock it by just by press control plus 2 mm. or command plus 2 mm. so if you click here now new brush library is arrows standard mm. so you can see these are standard arrows which you can use okay then if you click here you can see borders you can also see others i have explained mm. you showed you some of them decorative now for example decorative banners and seals mm. okay so it will appear here okay so for example now with brush tool you can move it in your artboard mm. and in certificates you can also use this one okay 
if you want to make it big so just press and hold alt plus shift you can see it okay okay the now the next thing if you want to to sorry draw ah. okay just press and hold i will see select this one then brush to see it's like this mm. okay and for example if you want to change the color of this mm. okay so you can select this tool that is called direct selection tool mm. so if you select direct selection tool now you can see all elements you can select individually see mm. when you select this the color is showing like this here uh -huh. and here also when you select this you can see the full color is showing there so according to your requirements you can change it like say like this wow okay that is so now you can see we have our own this decorative banner mm -hmm. still we can apply lots of things to this mm -hmm. okay now these banners you can check one by one very good banners we can use in our work okay like this one you can see okay if we want to type something here we can type also and we can place there okay certification and if you select this have you changed the banner to mm. mine this is okay certificate and this is white color we'll move it you can see wonderful okay and then if you click here now you can see brush libraries arrows artistic also you can check borders you can check you okay, get decorative i have showed you borders i have showed you okay so these all brushes you can use in your work yes, is it okay okay sir. Fine. Now the next thing is how to use graphic styles in your work. Okay, mm. this we can delete. Okay, mm. we have these things. Okay, mm. graphic styles we can use for backgrounds. Mm. Okay, mm. and for lots of other graphics. things. Huh. Okay, mm. if you select, for example, this shape. and let me create here a shape like this okay and this will be in the center horizontal aligned center see horizontal aligned right this is horizontal aligned left why it's aligning in the artboard because i clicked here windows align and in alignment options show options and here you can do it align to artboard So now if you select the shape in okay, cam and if you go to window after brushes you can see here graphic styles okay so if you click graphic styles now same like brushes you can see some graphic styles here okay these you can find here also like you can see this okay but there are lots of graphic styles like brushes there are lots of Uh -huh. same graphic, graphic styles, styles there are lots of for example if you click it will apply to this shape you got my point yes, 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 yes. but if i click here same you can see there is a library of graphic styles just like we have library for brushes yes. in adobe illustrator cc okay. mm -hmm. so apart from i create the graphic style can you show another thing i will show you now okay after this you can do your practice okay, okay. open graphic style library okay or it will burden yeah okay. from where you will apply yeah just just create the shape shape and go click window and this is graphic styles okay, okay. it's easy just like brushes mm -hmm. 
ओके यू कैन राइट इवन नो प्रॉब्लम so if you select this now click here open graphic style library mm -hmm. so now we have different things yes. okay for example we have here illuminate styles so if you click illuminate styles you can see another panel will appear so there are lots of professional graphic styles which you can apply to your shape see mm -hmm. awesome okay can we create our own we can styles? also create How our own that styles happen? that i will show you okay first let me show you mm -hmm. uh, which graphic styles are available in yes, adobe right. illustrator okay. see mm -hmm. <clears throat> then if you close this one click here mm -hmm. open graph style like illuminate styles we did okay then you can see 3d effects also Okay, so you can apply some three D effects also. See, okay, it takes a little bit time also. See, okay, okay. See this one, like you can write something here. Can okay. we take two graphic style in one photo? No, one. for this for or one selection. To, uh, for one selection tool one. Exactly. Or first you can. like uh, erase it eraser tool i will show you from here uh -huh. so you can okay. uh, sorry not eraser tool it's some um, path, path eraser tool yes this tool or we can use this knife or scissor tool also okay, okay. that i will show you so this one is here now you can see different 3d you can apply to mm. this okay so if you click here open graphic style library okay i will make it small like this okay and we will move it here okay mm -hmm. now we will make a duplicate for this certificate and see move it here mm -hmm. okay then i will change the certificate color to black mm -hmm. now in graphic styles you can see here some type effects okay so if you click type effects you can see type effects panel will appear so this type effects for text text okay like if you click here you can see it's like this mm. okay oh, no. if you click here you can see it will up like this mm. okay so these are type effects if you create something again another shape without color and other things like this shape okay so we can click on graphic style and here you can see neon effects mm. so if you click neon effects so you can apply some neon effects here mm. so and if you want to make buttons for websites like this okay apply no fill and click graphic styles and where you can see buttons and roll overs okay so you can see these buttons we can design see mm. okay and this too yes sir see yeah okay. yeah so you can practice till here okay? yeah. then we will proceed perfect